How's it going, YouTube? Uh, it's the Homemade Game Guru again. Uh, if you've noticed with many of the videos that I put out, just a couple of videos actually, I, uh, myself and my friend Vito, who's known on YouTube as Pixels to Polygons, you should really check out his channel. He's really big into video games. But uh, we both put up a, a kind of combo video showing us playing some Atari flashback. Uh, and one is um, Aqua Adventure, the other one is called uh, Frog Pond. And it really got my juices going when it came to uh, like reliving Atari because, uh, you know, I'm an 80s kid. I, I was born in the 70s but grew up in the 80s and I really, really love Atari. And I have actually cherished my Atari. Now, let me just grab this here. This is my Atari flashback. It's the flashback number two. And, you know, it comes with 40 games. It's a great toy. It was a birthday gift from a friend of mine. But as great as that is, that doesn't compare anything to the original system, which is this. This is the original box of the Atari 2600. The original game box. It was, uh, my father bought it for me <coughs> back in 1983. And I've cherished it ever since. Here's the actual system itself. Still works. My original 2600. I've babied this since I was seven years old. And it still works to this day. I'm talking about the thing as its original adapter. If you remember the old school adapters, these things where you have to switch. There's the switch right here. When you had, like the the new uh, LCD TVs and plasma TVs, this doesn't work on anymore. But I have an old uh, tube TV that it could still work on, and I still have all the original controllers, the paddles. Still have the original paddles. Of course, can't have the Atari without the joysticks. I have three joysticks actually and you know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is uh, share some of my games and show you some of my uh, games on my Atari collection and of course as a true Atari fan you know I even have the board games like here's Miss Pac-Man uh, downstairs I have Pac-Man and Zaxxon the board game so you know really good, good memories from growing up in the 80s I'm telling you kids now you don't know what you're missing the 80s had the best cartoons the best TV shows, the best sitcoms, and it was just fun, fun times. You know, play, I remember play places used to have, uh, like, outdoor uh, play places used to have the swings, the slides on gravel. Fuck this padded shit or even sand, it was gravel. You fell and hit your head, you bust your head open, you learn a lesson, your parents send you right back out to play again. So, uh, okay, that's me reminiscing. All the 80s heads out there know what I'm talking about. So let me show you some of the games I have out of my Atari collection. Uh, these are the ones I have the boxes for. Like, here's Combat. Uh, Donkey Kong Jr. Pitfall 2. Battle Zone. Crystal Castles. And let's see, of course, you gotta have the classic of classics Mario Brothers. Those are the boxes. And you know what? For those who remember in television, I also have in television games as well. Like, what do we have here? Uh, the, the It Talks series, where the game actually talks to you as you're playing. So, I kind of one up Atari. Um, I have mostly sports games. There's uh, the cards sticking out of it. And I have a whole bunch of uh, television games as well, but I don't have my television anymore. Uh, but here, this is a cool little thing that I have. Again, for those who appreciate the old systems in television, this is the It Talks recorder machine. No one has seen this in eons, and it's still in its packaging. Never actually been opened. So that's pretty cool to have. You know, you got to appreciate with Atari and television, ColecoVision, that without these systems... Xbox 360, PlayStation, none of these would exist without these original video game systems. Nintendo and Sega started off making games for, you know, Atari and ColecoVision and all these systems. So, you know, you got to pay respect to these systems. So, let's show you some of the games I have. Super Breakout, Air Sea Battle. Right, let's whip out the classics, you know, the ones everyone would know about. Or at least should appreciate. Kangaroo. Remember that game? I showed you Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, here is uh, Ghostbusters. Classic. Uh, where's my Star Wars? I don't have Star Wars in here somewhere. 
remember the original Star Wars game? Someone once offered me $200 for this because I do have the box somewhere for it. And I said no. There's no way in hell I'm selling it. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, Defender from Sears. Telegames. I don't know what the hell that's all about. One of my favorite Atari games, Plaque Attack. Uh, another one of my favorites I'm just damn good at is Yar's Revenge. Uh, da -da -da -da. Spy Hunter. Come on, this is a true classic right there. Spy Hunter. Joust. Remember Joust? That game right there. Uh, <laughs> California games. Uh, of course, anyone who had a Commodore 64 also knows about this one. Uh, you can't have an Atari without these two, Space Invaders and Centipede. Uh, here we go. Cubert. There's Cubert. Now, I don't have every game I, I wish I had. I don't have Zaxxon. But uh, there's Berserk, if you remember the game Berserk. Enduro, and of course I'm missing like the, the, the one Atari game every person should have. You can, if you have an Atari, it's blasphemy if you don't have Pac-Man. I have actually three of these. Uh, let's see what else we have. Adventure, got that one. I got so many, I got like a, just a metric ton of Atari games here. Some of the weird ones, uh, weird packaging, like here's Air Raiders. And Astro Blast, these, I never understood why they came out these packages. The uh, Missile Command, and 34 other games, telegames on here. Uh, uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, Freeway, Why Did a Chicken Cross the Road type of game. Uh, I just got so many, so many different types of Atari games. And I said, I cherish these games, I cherish all these classics, and... You know, I'm glad to see on YouTube there's just so many videos of people reminiscing about Atari and showing how to play their Atari games. So, I just thought I'd throw in my two cents and show my Atari collection. So, and of course my television collection. So, you know, there's my stuff. You've seen I got comic books, trading cards, action figures, my Atari. I'm also probably going to do a video on my movie poster and banner collection. I said, I'm a pack rat. I collect so much crap. But, um... Yeah, so for all you Atari fans out there and anyone who grew up in the 70s and 80s and truly appreciates these classics, that yeah, the graphics were crap, but they were pioneering for their time. And you know what, I, my friends and I get together, as you saw in the video, and we play these games and have all our competitions and enjoy the hell out of it. So, you know, I just want to share that with you. So, for all the Atari lovers out there, thanks a lot for watching. Well, may game groove. Peace out, everyone. Sorry.